What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Montilverse. This is your host, Jorge Montiel Jr. As always, it's good to see you again. Um, payback just happened less than 24 hours ago. I was going to make a video immediately, but... I gotta tell you something. This this event didn't really wow me. It didn't blow me away at all. Um, there was two matches that stood out to me, and we're gonna talk about the first one right here, right now. And the first one was Trish Stratus versus Becky Lynch. All right. Now the old rules in wrestling, especially for promotions, your first match is supposed to be mind blowingly good. All right, and your ending match, your main event, is supposed to be better than that so you want to start the night off strong and then you want to end the night even stronger that's always been the rule and that's and WWE knows that they, they're the ones that crafted out that sort of system because that's what works and I can say that they delivered on half of that Trish Stratus versus Becky Lynch for me personally was a match of the night the spots that Trish was doing and Becky I mean, the satisfaction off the top rope was crazy when, when Trish was battling Becky Lynch at the top of the, the cage. And then Becky punched Trish in the face, and then Trish literally went back. And she had her legs, you know, holding her up because her legs were caught in between the, the steel cage. That was insane. You know what I mean? There were so many good spots, so many good moments where you thought that each of them was going to win. The, the callback to uh, the Victoria versus Lita match. First ever women's steel cage match where uh, Trish Stratus delivered the Black Widow and then Becky Lynch delivered the Twist of Fate. It was There was a lot of great spots, man. There, it, the match was amazing. And I've said this for you know the past couple of times that I've been on here that Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus, there were two things that were going to hold this rivalry back. And one of them was their chemistry. They don't have the best chemistry, but as you can see, if you look back from when this rivalry first started to now, you can totally see the improvement in that. And the second thing was, if it was like a one and done, like Trish and Charlotte, then, you know, it's just a disservice to Trish. And I mean, it's not helping anybody either. And nobody wants to see a one off. Like, that's not what fans want to see today. This rivalry actually had the the opposite problem where it might have gone on too long. You know, half of it isn't really their fault because, you know, they were cut uh, from SummerSlam. I know Triple H doesn't like to use that word, but I mean, it is what it is. They were, they were not, they were, they were pulled from the show. So, I mean, that's what it is. But this match was a total payoff, man. Trish Stratus, to me, is the greatest of all time. She's 47 years old, and she's putting on matches like this. I mean, who else can say that? I mean, we don't even know if Becky Lynch is going to be around at 47. You know what I mean? In ring. Who knows? She could leave in the next five years. You know, you don't know. Trish Stratus has, like, she's she's transcended through time. She fit in the Attitude Era. She fit in the Divas Era. She fits in this era. Not a lot of women can say that they fit in that many eras. They just, they can't. They're either too modern or too old school. And Trish has both. And to me, she proved that without a shadow of a doubt, she's the greatest of all time because of her charisma, because of her storytelling, because of her heel work. To me, she's the greatest of all time, period. Mount Rushmore, first slot goes to Trish. I used to put Becky up on that list, but now I'm kind of like... I still, I, th- I think I still would put Becky on that list. It would go Trish, Sasha, Becky. I hate to say it, but I think Charlotte deserves a spot on there. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of like in the middle between Charlotte and uh, Lita. So I got to think about that one. But to me, this is definitely the match of the night. So on behalf of everybody here, thank you, Trish. Thank you, Becky. Amazing match. I was I was literally blown away by it. It's just that match was so good that the rest of the event didn't measure up to it. It was just amazing to me. Because honestly, I thought, okay, typical steel cage match. Not that many spots. It's not going to be longer than, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And 
it, they kicked ass. Totally exceeded my expectations. In every sense of the word. So, let me know what you guys think about this match. And like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.